Hi, this is Joe Ferry, the Home Inspector Lawyer. I'm down here in Naples, Florida with my good friend Ken Compton, the founder of the Home Inspection Marketing Center. And today we're going to talk to you about how to direct market to the public. Ken, I know you're, uh, you've perfected the technique for marketing to the public, and almost every home inspector I talk to absolutely wants to be able to do that. How do you do it? Well, I'll tell you, Joe, that's one of my favorite topics. You know, you, you and I talk about it all the time, going direct to the public. Um, you use a variety of methods, but let's talk about this. In an earlier video, one of the things that you and I said was um, there were two fundamental marketing principles. Nobody buys anything until they understand what's in it for them. And when people know you, like you, and trust you, they'll do business with you. And so when you personally visit an office, like in relationship marketing, those things are pretty easy. Um, you know, you meet people face-to-face, you learn about them, this, that, and the other. But when you're online, um, that, that's a whole different ballgame right. there. You've got to let people convince themselves that you're right for them. And it really starts this way. Um, we know from all kinds of research that home inspectors, that what home buyers really want from the home inspector is protection. And what I mean is they want to be protected from buying the money pit. They want the home inspector to be so thorough and so professional and so comprehensive in the evaluation of the property, they don't get stuck with the old pit. Because what keeps them up at night is unexpected post-closing expenses. The deal's done, uh, and the seller's moved on, and they move in, and there's a big old foundation crack, or a new roof's needed, or the heater doesn't work, or whatever. Um, and so what happens, they don't want that. They're afraid of that. And so they're looking for a home inspector to protect them. And there are certain strategies and techniques that we use online um, to help them understand that uh, by providing them information. And also, people say, well, how can I build a, a know me, like me, trust me relationship with somebody on the internet? And, and I'll talk to you in a minute about how we do those things. The three primary tools, I'm going to talk about four tools, really. Um, uh, four tools, really. One of them is you have to have a sales website. Now, I'm going to tell you, the websites most home inspectors have, um, I'm going to use this, suck. <laughs> and here's why. It's a technical term. Yeah, right? it's one of those technical terms we use in marketing. Sucks. Right. Um, here's why. Um, remember, it's all about the customer. They have to figure out very quickly. You type in Atlanta Home Inspector, Home Inspector Atlanta. You know you're buying a house. you got to find a home inspector. So you type in Atlanta Home Inspector or Home Inspector Atlanta, which what home buyers do, looking for a home inspector in Atlanta. Right. Okay, and so what happens is they land on these websites in the organic search. You're on the left-hand side. Not paid ads, but on the organic search, the free search. And they click on the first one. Well, guess what happens? If it's all about the home inspector, they can't figure why they should use them. So they back browser like two seconds. Right. I'm, a member, I'm a member of this association. They association. don't know what that means. Yeah, we got all these credentials. They don't know what that means because that's irrelevant at this point in the game. In that part, in the initial part of the sales process, they want to know why should I choose you? Okay, so your sales website has to give them information and has to build that know me, like me, trust me, your sales website. Okay, so here's how we do it. When somebody comes to our website, what do you think they want to know? Why should I choose you? Right. So you know what our headline says? Why should you choose other home inspection <laughs> services for your home inspection? Right. Hello, I've just entered the conversation that you're having in your own mind. Okay, this isn't hard. Okay, and then what happens is we share with them why. We, uh, you should choose us because we won't let you get stuck by a money pit. Guaranteed. Okay, that's what they want to hear. Right. That's what they want to see when they first come on. They don't back browser us. Right. You know why? That's what they want to know. And then what we do is we have a little letter that says, Here, here's what happens. Here's what we'll do. And then there's a customer, a customer testimonial right under that that says what we did, that we did that for them. Okay, and then we make the next point, and there's a customer testimonial under there that says we do that. So what happens is they're, they're really saying, wow, this is what these guys say. Look at these customers. And we put their customer's name and city and everything. Because if you don't put their first name and last name in their city and state, guess what? People think you made that up. Right. People are cynical. Okay. So you got to have effective copy and you got to say, you know, what's in it for me? Think like you're the buyer. What do you want to see on and the And this is on the front. This is on the front page. On the home page. Right on the home page. Now, what else would they want to see? They'd want to see what you inspected, right? And so you have to have that. And they want to see testimonials from other people just like them. So they see them. We call that social proof. Okay, and what else would they want to see? They'd want to meet your inspector or you. Okay, so you'd have, want to have information on there about you. Um, you know, they'd want to see a sample of your inspection report. Okay, so when you provide them these six or seven pieces of information, they say, wow, I believe this guy right here can protect me from the money pit and I'm going to schedule. Now, what we do is we have online scheduling. People schedule online. We've never talked to them. They've come to our website and they have convinced themselves we're right for them. 
and they schedule online. Sweet. Okay. But you can bet your bippy that our uh, website is not all about us. Right. I mean, it's about the customer, why they should choose us, and how we can protect them. Now, on the side of the website, what have we added? Some YouTube videos that, uh, from uh, live videos that we shot in the field during the course of a home inspection. Here's what we found. Here's what it means to you. Okay, two, three minute videos. They're looking at that and saying, these guys are good. Right. These guys, they're convincing themselves right. that we're good. Okay, so. That's more social proof, I guess, right? More social proof. Really, that is true. Um, uh, so, what happens is they convince themselves and they call us or schedule. And, uh, and so, that, that's how we go direct to the public. But most of the home inspectors handicap themselves right out of the gate because even if they're in the top of the search engines, I mean, go look on, type in keyword phrases for a home inspector in any city and what, you'll, you'll laugh. You know, right. if you're a home buyer, think about what you want to see. What what would convince you? Somebody's brochure, their credentials, what does that mean? They rented them, they bought them. Right. What do you know about it? I mean, this could be a made up association. These consumers <laughs> don't know that. That's I mean, true. it could be anything. That's you know the true. internet. You know it's the internet. Right. So um, there we've determined what those pieces of information are and then how to get sales directly from that. Okay, so those are people who are directly looking for it. Now, how we manage prior clients and uh, people who are breathing in the community that can refer you or are going to get a home inspection uh, in the future, we really use three tools. Um, we use a blog, not our sales website, but a blog, okay, which allows us to provide information to home buyers, home sellers, anybody breathing who could refer us or potentially buy a home ever. Okay, so what consumer information would they be interested in seeing from the home inspector? We also use Facebook and we use YouTube. Okay, so Sentinel Sales website alone aside because that unit does its own job every day, 24-7. It's my best salesperson. I don't pay it. It doesn't take off on vacation. You know, it the, works holidays. The website. The sales website. Sales website. Okay, that, once you have that set up, all you do is keep it at the top of the search engines. People come on. They see it. They click on it. They convince themselves. Okay, I love that sales website. But now what happens is there's a lot of information that the home inspector wants to convey that really muddles up your sales website. See, if you put, if you put any, what's your one goal of your sales website? website to get people to choose you, right? Right. So if you put too much information on there, when we first started going direct to the public, here's what we did. We have radon information on there. We'd have infrared information. We'd have all this other information. So you know what the customer did? Instead of clicking schedule now, they were off reading all this information. So while they're reading the information, the kids come and say, Mom, it's time for soccer practice. And guess what? She closed out her computer and didn't book. Do you want to call to action yeah. right away? Oh. I want them to, now, now, now. I don't want to distract you. When you give consumers too many choices, guess what happens? They become paralyzed. They don't do what you want them to do. What do I want them to do? Schedule now. That's all I want you to do on that. Schedule now. Okay, so we've narrowed it down to six pieces of information that they have to see to convince themselves and nothing else. But I want to tell you about radon. I want to tell you about infrared. And that's where it goes on your blog. Okay? So... You can get your blog indexed into the search engine. So you get that off of the front page, off of the sales page, and onto somewhere else. You get it onto a different website. Okay. A different website. All together. Completely. Okay. You know, my sales site is only for one thing. No, it's not cluttered with. Uh, and it's only for home buyers. It's only for home buyers. It's not for home sellers. It's not for real, real estate, estate agents. agents. It's nobody. It is home buyers. Because you know, baby, that's who's got the, that's who's got the itch that I can scratch today. You need a home inspection? Mm, I'm your guy. So right there, that's all that thing does. Is that a static page? Is it just one page? Static. No, it's not one page. Um, but what happens is you can open up to a different page and see it, but you can never leak off the site. For instance, when you watch our videos, um, you watch them right on our site. You don't. It doesn't take it doesn't you anywhere, take anywhere else. else. When you look at a sample of our inspection report, it doesn't take you anywhere else. You stay right on our site. Because if you leak off our site, you might not come back. Yeah, MTV, I've worked that MTV generation. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've worked too hard to get you there right. to close you. Okay, I got to have a close right there. Okay, so I build a whole new website called the blog. And what happens is the blog is going to convey a bunch of different information. Because remember, I want to do two things. I want to demonstrate expertise to everybody who has the potential to buy a house or refer me. I want them to look at me as the obvious expert in the real estate market. Okay, because what home, home buyers want from consumers, I mean from home inspectors, they want you to be so thorough, so professional in your evaluation of the property, they're not going to get stuck with a pit. Okay, so if I can demonstrate expertise, you think I'm the guy. 
Okay, and if I can build relationships with you by providing good information through audio interviews, videos, all those things, man, you're loving me. Right. And I'm an expert. Okay, so Facebook, YouTube, and my blog are the three tools that I use every day to establish expertise and to build know me, like me, trust me relationships. Okay, so who do I invite on Facebook? I've got a whole course on this. I've got huge courses on this on the inside for the members. Um, I look at Facebook and I say, who's my target audience? How about apartment renters? You know they're going to eventually um, buy a house. Okay, how about your prior clients? Sure. How about others? There's, well, I call them celebrities in the community. In, in the little town of Jasper where we live forever, um, what happens was the mayor was a pretty popular guy. So if I have the mayor on my Facebook account, people are coming to my Facebook account, they're seeing the mayor's on, oh, I'm joining him. You know, So now i got local people joining on my Facebook account, which is what I want. I'm a local business. Okay, so I get all these people on there and then I provide excellent content on Facebook for them. I understand who it, I want on my Facebook account, uh, local consumers, prior clients, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, everybody in my market that can refer me business. I want them on my Facebook account. I don't want Aunt Sally. You know, I'll call Aunt Sally on the phone if I want to talk to her. Right. I don't want her on my Facebook account. I don't want people posting their nasty Fort Lauderdale teenage kids pictures on my Facebook crap, you know. I want people that can refer me business. I'm a business person. Okay, so on Facebook, I understand who I want on there. Then I provide them content. But let me tell you a sneaky way that I do it. If the only way I could engage you with my business was on Facebook, that'd be kind of boring. So you know what happens is on Facebook, you know what I post? Some teaser copy and send you to my YouTube channel to watch one of my videos. Okay, now you're on my YouTube channel. And guess what happens is I have playlists on my, let's say you're interested in an electrical issue. I have videos all about electrical. Let's say you're interested in um, plumbing issues. I have playlists with just plumbing videos. You know, if you're going to buy something, you always learn more about it. So if you're going to watch one electrical video, I guess you'd watch more, wouldn't you? But if they're all grouped together right. there, it makes it easy, doesn't it? Sure does. Yeah. It sure does. And you know what? I have customer favorites. Where I have 50 and 60,000 views on my videos. Okay, 50 or 60,000 views on my videos. Okay, people say... I probably put you in the top 1%. Exactly. Of, uh, I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, and what they do is they click on that and say, wow, this is interesting. Okay, so they're looking at it and they're like, okay, this is good. So I'm building expertise. Um, they're looking at me now like, this guy, this guy can protect me from buying the pit. The other thing they say is, you know, I like this guy. He's funny and fun and he makes good videos, he's informative. Why wouldn't I select him for my home inspection? Right. Or, you know, what happens is I saw old Southern Home Inspection Service. They got some great videos on YouTube. Have you seen them? They're over there and now they're telling their friends. So it goes viral. Okay, so that's a, a good way to do it. Now, what happens is on my blog, I, I have articles about home decorating. I have um, articles on there about how to look at, understand your drinking water, green living, senior living, all the groups that I want to appeal to. There's information on there. I'm not trying to sell on there. Now, it does say schedule now. That's the only sales piece on there. That's an informational. That's informational. Right. You, I'm not pushing you email. You're can, they, can they schedule right from there? Or? They can schedule right from there. Okay, they don't have to go back to your website. They don't have to go back to the website. I want to give you every opportunity to do business with right. right. Okay, so there's great information on there. So on Facebook, what I do is I say, hey, we've just posted a cool article on senior living or green living. I put some teaser copy. They click on it. It takes them right over to my blog. Now they're on my blog and they're like, look at all this information. This is cool. They see videos. They see audios. For instance, one of the things you should do is this. If you're a home inspector, on your blog, go out and interview a stager. You know, what happens is uh, home sellers are struggling trying to sell this home. Okay, and so what happens, go out and interview a home stager about why staging makes sense to get a house, whole, a house sold sooner and for more money. Right. Okay, so interview a stager. Then put it on there. Then put it on Facebook. It says if you're trying to sell your house, you've got to listen to this audio interview on our blog about home staging. So they go over to your blog. They're engaged with your business. Again, now in another format. Yeah. They listen to this interview and they're like, holy smoke, this is good stuff. Now, you're not giving out the information. Uh, the stager is. But you brought them the information, so you're getting credit for it. Right. And people that are connected to you on Facebook, you know, maybe they're not moving, but maybe... 
their sister-in-law is or, or something like that. You got it. Right. Because remember, you want to do business with them, but you want them to refer you to others. Right. Okay. So you can build expertise and demonstrate expertise online, and you can build know me, like me, trust me relationships. Now, let me go back to interviews because people said, oh, I can never do an interview with a stranger. I say, how come? They said, well, I wouldn't know what to ask. And I said, well, guess what? You don't have to know how to, what to ask. And they're like, what are you talking about? And I, here's what I do. When I interview guests, I say, what are the questions that you get asked most frequently in your business? And you know people ask you the same stuff over and over. Right. They ask me the same stuff over and over. Okay, so what happens is... I give them a different answer every time. <laughs> can't keep it fresh. <laughs> so what happens is um, I ask them for their top ten most frequently asked questions. So when we get on the interview, I just no, ask, so them, the I ask them those questions, right? And they give the answer, and I look like a genius interviewer. Right. When I'm just a country kid in Chattanooga, Tennessee, you know, you know. So that's how I do it. So anybody can use it, and we teach these strategies at Home Inspection Marketing Center. I mean, I mean, we you have to learn how to do these. Well, things. you not only teach them, but then somebody's going to do it, and then they're going to come on and tell how work for them, right? Oh, they do. They definitely yeah. get on there and tell each other that. We do it in our own firm. I mean, we test everything before we roll it out of the. Yeah, on, onto the site. You know, we've had some marketing campaigns that sucked, you know, and those don't make it on the site. We test everything before we do it. Um, before it gets on the site, it's tested and proven. But um, but you can really, you have to look at um, online effort as sales website and then relationship building. Right. Um, and the, the Facebook, YouTube, and your blog uh, are really easy. Now, Facebook is easy and it's free. Uh, 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 YouTube is free and easy, okay? And and then um, your blog, we use a WordPress blog, and you can actually get one for free and set it up yourself. Here's uh, when we first started this um, interview here, uh, you mentioned someone writes in uh, Land the Home Inspector. Mm -hmm. Is there another way to bring these people to, to your website other than? Then going to a search engine to find you? you? You could do all kinds of banner advertising or that kind of thing. Of course, the one thing is that you do any letters you send out or any emails you send out, you should always have your websites in the mm. signature portion so you can what we call drive traffic. But I'll tell you, um, here's what we know about this, and this, is, this goes right back to what you're saying. When, somebody, when consumers are wanting to research a product or service, you know where they go? Google. Google. Okay, but you know when they're selecting, wanting to select a vendor in their local area, do you know where they go? YouTube. Is that right? So you can drive tons of people from YouTube to your sales website. See what happens. And I, I, we shared this over breakfast this morning. My aunt in her mid-70s and um, lives in a big uh, uh, older home uh, on the farm. And her ele uh, heating oil bill got to be huge. So she needed some additional insulation. Now, she's in her 70s. She goes on the Internet. She was looking for a local company. She wants to do business with somebody local. You know, she's old school. And I like that, too. Um, she goes on the net and she types in, uh, you know, insulation contractor in her town. Okay, and this guy's website comes up. And guess what? On the front of his website is a video about how they do what she wants done. Well, she watches this video, and when she's finished with a video, she's on the phone. That's and the guy for me, right? That's it. <laughs> she learned about the process. She learned how they were going right. to do it. She met the owner. She saw the crews working. She was so, she sold herself. Right. She picked up the phone and called. And that's how you can do it with home inspections too. It's just that easy to to make that happen. Right. I remember. I remember in, in uh, when we were when we were on the road together, um, you would talk about uh, putting an ad that would drive somebody. To your to your website, sure. like uh, send, send for this free. Right. Can you tell them about list that? building? What we do um, a lot of times, and you can do this. It's really good. Uh, you can do this. Um, uh, it's it's a really powerful strategy. It's called we call it list building. But you know, and I know that foreclosures are huge. I mean, there's just so many foreclosures in Florida here where we are, and in in, uh, in Georgia too, two hearted states. And so what happens is people that are buying foreclosures are buying them as is. Um, so what happens is you have to say you, you could run a classified ad in the in your local community paper. Not the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, but the Marietta paper or the Dunwoody paper. The smaller papers, especially to test. And you put a lead generation ad that says, foreclosure buyers, beware. Three things the bank won't tell you. To get this free report, and you put in a, a, a URL or domain name. Right. Okay, to get this free report. And that goes to your page. It goes to a landing page, right. and it says, you know, you buy a house as is. In many cases, there's no termite disclosure. There's no seller's disclosure. And the bank's not going to make any repairs. So you better know what as is is. Get this free report to learn how to protect yourself. 
Okay, so they get the free report. They give you their first name and their email address to get the free report. Now you have them on your list. And then you can your computer, we call it autoresponder program, will go in and set up and send them a series of messages gotcha. to entice them to use your that's, firm. That's the one I was yeah, talking about. Exactly. So we and so you can do that in a variety of ways. Um, we tested um, this a lead generation or list building strategy on the front of our website. A, a, a piece popped up and said, Georgia home inspectors are unlicensed and unregulated. How are you know going to know who to choose? Get this free report, seven ways to avoid a bad inspector. And people got that like crazy. Well, let's say they get the they, re- they really went for it. They went for it. Yeah. Um, and so what happens is they put in their first name and their email address. And I know that they're not on my website, if, that website, if they're not looking for a home inspector. So immediately, you know, people that got this also saw seeing a sample of our inspection report to be helpful. So guess what? We, they got a sample of our inspection report. And then people that got this, boom, boom. They're, I, they're already qualified. I'm pre-qualified. They, right. Yeah, they've raised their hand. They're right. not a suspect. They're a prospect right. now because they're getting a free report. Okay, so when they get the free report, then we go with it and we communicate with them. Now, let me tell you an exciting thing about that too. Once you get their email address and their first name, why wouldn't you put them on your um, prior client monthly marketing list? So they're getting a newsletter and home inspection tip of the month from you. Okay, because let's say this. Let's say they don't choose you for the home inspection for whatever reason. And the home inspector, you and I both know, do not market to their clients. clients. Right. So guess what? Cheap Charlie gets the home inspection. But guess what? Every month they're getting helpful, useful information for Southern Home Inspection Services. So who's going to be the winner when they need another inspection or their friends do? Not the guy that they never heard from again. Right. I mean, they liked him okay. Or maybe missed something or whatever. But he's not keeping in touch with them. They, they forgot him. He's so yesterday. Right. Okay. So we keep them in. Keep them going. Um, and you can communicate with them as if they were one of your prior clients. And you can offer them products and services, and I'm telling you, they don't unsubscribe from your list because you're providing helpful, useful content. If you provide crap, expect them to unsubscribe. Right. But you have to understand what the market wants from you, and we teach that at Home Inspection Marketing Center, and then once you understand it, provide it to them. But that's called list building, and that's how we do it. We, you know, we, we do other ways, like let's say you sell builder's warranty, and we that's a direct to the public strategy. No real estate agent involved there. Right. And so what we've done is we've done it a couple ways. We've sent out a postcard, you know, three things buyers of new construction need to know before that dad blame home inspector builder's warranty expires and they come get a free report but we've also driven them to a free recorded message and we've given them the same information they'd get reported on a free recorded message tell them what it's about and you know what happens is after they listen to the free recorded message on the 800 number they're convinced they call you wow I mean, we've used a variety of go direct to the public strategies to get it. So it's just not all. It can start with online or offline. Um, I've got a a friend um, who wants to sell some energy audits. And so um, what we did is we got um, an old creaky house picture. And we said, uh, you know, is your savings leaking out through the windows or a roof? You know, and we bought a list from a list broker that told us how the age of the home and all these kind of things in certain zip codes. And so we, those are called selects. We went to the list broker and said, we want more affluent neighborhoods. In these, so we selected these zip codes. And we want homes that were built in this, between this time and this time. So how old the home is. You can get all that from a list broker. And we have one at Home Inspection Marketing Center we refer all the time. I've been doing business with him since 97. And so he gets us these lists. And then we send out this direct mail. But we only send out postcards. They're cheap. And we can send out a bunch of them through send out cards. Right. Now, now, guess what happens is we drive them to a website. So we've moved them offline online. Now they can learn all about it. Or we've moved them offline to a free recorded message. Okay, because, you know, why do I want to say the same thing over and over? Let the website say it. Let the free recorded message say it. <laughs> right. I want to play golf. Right. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You know, come on. So let these tools do it for you. So when inspectors really see this is, man, my clients are doing it every day. They're getting business from the public. Now, you don't want to ignore relationship marketing. You don't want to ignore prior right. client marketing. This is one more tool in the toolbox. Could you get all your business online? The answer is yes. You'd have to do a few more things, pay-per-click, and you'd have to be a very right. aggressive online marketer to get 100% of your business from there, but that is possible. And you know what happens is, Joe, the real estate industry is changing. You and I both know it. With the advent of these online brokers, Zip and Zillow and Redfin and all right. that, the way consumers are looking for vendors, whether it's a realtor, mortgage broker, you know, home warranty company, home inspector, is different, man. They are going on the internet now and searching. And a lot of people want to have an independent home inspection. They want to select the home inspector themselves. Perfect. 
Okay, so go direct to the public is totally possible using the strategies we teach. We get business every right, day from right. it. I mean, how do you like to wake up in the morning, go in your office, and see that home inspections are scheduled and you never talk to anybody? But you know what happens is if you got a brochure website, if it's a website all about you, if you read it and can't figure out why you do business with them, you better do something different because right. you're missing all that business. And, and do you... Uh, coach people on how to do that? Absolutely. Otherwise. It starts off with keyword research. And what we mean by keyword research is this. What is it a consumer would type into Google when they're looking for a home inspector? What are those words or phrase? Um, we know from experience and research, with, we have members all over the country and in seven foreign countries now. Um, and we've worked with them on keyword research. We know what people are typing in. That's your starting point. And then Google will display other terms that they're typing in as well. And how many times? Okay, so you can get your website optimized. So when some Somebody types in Home Inspector Atlanta or Atlanta Home Inspector, my site comes up into the number one position. And then the information they see is right on spot. You know, what's the consumer want? Why should I choose you? That's what they want to know. And then we say why they should choose us because we're not going to let you get stuck by the money pit. Here's how. And then testimonial. Yeah, they didn't let me buy the money pit. Testimonial. Right. right. And we work them right on down. And then they watch the videos and they do all those things. But if your website sucks, it doesn't let the consumer know what's in it for them. If it doesn't establish you as the obvious expert, if it builds no, know me, like me, trust me, how do you expect to get one thing offline? Right. Totally lucky. Total luck. I mean, luck. You know, even a blind squirrel once in a while can find a nut. Right. You know, so it's just dumb luck. Um, so you, if you want it, if that's your strategy, then you have to learn some new skill sets. I, I mean, I tell you, you know, when I'm an internet marketer, you know that. I sell yeah. products and services online. And, you know, it's a lot different than face-to-face -face selling. My whole career, I would come into your office, I would learn what your problems were. And then I would see if the products or services I had would solve them. And if it would, I would suggest to you that you consider this. But I can see your objections. I can read your body language. You know, I know how to manage the sales process, but on the internet, right. you don't know who's behind the screen. So you have to understand what keeps your customer up at night, and then you have to provide information that will let them convince themselves. This is about them convincing themselves that you're the person, that I'm the person. Right. And when you do that, and it's just a, an effective, it's just a series of effective techniques. Now, there's really two things to go on to the public. One of them is you have to get traffic or visitors to your website. We call that driving traffic. And you can drive traffic through classified ads, banner ads. You can drive traffic from YouTube, Facebook, your blog, to your sales website. There's an infinite ways to drive traffic to your website. But the big thing is it's easy to get traffic. The hard thing is converting, converting visitors it. into paying right, customers. Right. So that's where knowing what keeps the customer up at night is so important. We know that buyers, which your website should be focused strictly for home buyers. Okay, uh, your sales website. So what happens is we know that they want an expert and we know that they want to know you like and trust you. And so there's a handful of things, six or seven pieces of information, when you put them on there correctly, that will allow them to convince how, themselves. How, fre how frequently do you upgrade your, uh, uh, update your blog? Okay, we update our blog several times a week. Okay. Okay, not our sales website. Your blog, we have just a blog, okay. right. And let me say this to you. I hear this from home inspectors that are new members to me. They say, good Lord, Ken, where are we going to find all this stuff to write about? Well, let me say this to you, and I say this about Facebook too. 70% um, of what you're going to put on your blog or your Facebook account was written by someone else. And they're like, well, how does that demonstrate me as the expert? How do, how do people know me, like me, trust me? Well, let me ask you this. Let's say that I have eczema or psoriasis. The old itchy, makes your skin break out in red. And I live out in San Francisco, and I've got this, and you and I are friends. And you live in Philadelphia, and you read in the Philadelphia paper this natural homeopathic remedy for the problem I have. So you cut the article out of the newspaper and mail it to me. I get it and read it, and it works. Who am I thankful to? For the person that wrote the article or you because you brought me the information <laughs> right. to solve my problem. Right. Okay, that's, I, I mean, I learned this strategy a long, long time ago. You can't be that smart. You can't know everything. You can bring others' information in to solve your target audience's problems or help them so, with solutions. You don't have to write it. Right. They're giving credit to the guy who brought them the information as much or more to the person who actually produced it. That's, uh, that's perfect. So 70% of the content that you'll put on Facebook and that you'll put on your blog is not your own. It links to something 
something else. It does, yeah. but it's your responsibility to go out and find that content. Now, on the membership side, I give you a 40, 30 or 40 websites that you can go to that are free where you can bring content on that absolutely is on spot target for your target for your mar- target market. So you don't have to think all this up when you're a member. I, and I, as, you I, I, as it constantly updates, that, that increase, doesn't that increase your rank? With the- it does. And the other thing it does increases engagement with commu- the community with your brand or right. your business. Because once people come to your blog or your, your blog or your YouTube excuse me, a YouTube account or your Facebook account and they find what they want on there. And guess what? They come back. Right. Okay, and so what happens is, and this is a this is kind of a little secret I give out to our members, and I'll just say it right here, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, if you go in and type in the keyword phrase, check home inspection checklist, you'll find over a million people search every month for the words home inspection checklist. Now, you don't know exactly what they want. Maybe they're a buyer of new construction. Maybe they're a foreclosure buyer. Maybe they're wanting to see um, how to keep maintain their home. You don't know exactly what it is. So you could offer a free home inspection checklist, a free home maintenance checklist on your blog. A million people Look. search for those terms. Yeah, uh, the, the package of terms, not just that one term. Yeah, I'm but sorry, there's yeah. about ten or twelve that they're all looking for a checklist. Oh, about a million people search each month for that for home inspection checklist. Uh, whether it's home inspection list, home inspection uh-huh. whatever, or inspection list or inspection checklist, all those. So keywords. you're gonna you're gonna service that market then, right? You want to. Right. So what happens is, why wouldn't you give a, 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 a free checklist? Winner, a free checklist away. So guess what? Now you got your their first name and email address. Or what I do is, in many cases, on lead generation reports. People are reluctant to give you their first name. I don't know why. It's just the internet, you know? People are sick of that. So just ask for their email address, and that gives you more people that will subscribe to your list. You got to have their email address, or you can't email it to them. You don't ask them for their first name anymore? In some case, it depends on the sales situation in which I'm in. Okay. I know that if the more information you ask from somebody, It'll, if they it, do it, you get a lower response rate, but you get much quality, a higher quality prospect. So it depends on what lead generation campaign I'm running. If I I just want you to get the stuff and get you on my list. I just ask for your email address, and I'll say, you know, I got to have your email address, otherwise I can't send it to you. And they'll say, well, duh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, they put it right in. Well, now the new old marketing process starts. Right. Okay, and they can unsubscribe at any one time. And please know, I'm not <clears throat> spamming anybody, and I'm not sending crap. I'm sending information that they want that's it's valuable. valuable. It is, right. and yeah. that's why I'm so successful in list building. Okay, so I understand what they're interested in. Okay, so you can do that. Um, so you can build lists and drive traffic that way. So there's a million ways to drive traffic, but converting, you got to understand what keeps your prospect up at night. Otherwise, you can't write, right. put together anything that does that really works or is successful. So can you get 100% of your business online? Yes, you can. Um, would it take you some time to build up? Yes, and you'd have to learn some skill sets. And the nice thing about Home Inspection Marketing Center, I wish it had been around when I started my business in 97, because right. I've had to test all these things to see what works, and we split test on, do we get higher open rates? with these headlines and you know I mean we, we right. test everything um, because the internet is a strange beast you know and what worked yesterday isn't working today but I want to go back to one of the things on that we didn't we touched on but we, we, we didn't stay with it and this is important one of the things remember I said to you that um, inspectors are outside their comfort zone when they go and have to call on real estate agents right. and that kind of thing one of the things that our inspectors are very uncomfortable with many of them are very uncomfortable with is this when they're doing videos on a job site, I, I want you to take your Kodak ZI-8 or Flip Video or whatever. I want you to go out on the job site and make a helpful video. Here's one that I do that's really effective, Joe. Um, a lot of times, the Federal Pacific or Federal Pioneer Stablock electrical panels are in your area. And, you know, those things have been known to cause lots of fires. There's tons of research about it. And so what I'll do is I'll see one on a job site, and I'll say, hey, it's Ken from Southern Home Inspection Services, and what I'm going to show you today is a way to identify a potentially dangerous electrical panel. And my goal with this video is this. I want to show you this panel so that you can go back in your own laundry room or wherever your electrical panel is and look at it. And if you have this same panel, I want you to call an electrician. So let's get started. And I show them the characteristics in the video, blah, blah, blah. And then they can go and I just reconfirm. Now, if you got this panel, it could potentially be dangerous. Call an electrician out and have them evaluate it. Okay, that is a very helpful video. And that's the one, those kinds of videos shot live of a problem that you see 
cracked heat exchanger, foundation crack, those are the most effective. And they establish your expertise. And build know me, like me, trust right. me. Okay. But a lot of home inspectors are afraid to do that for whatever reason. It I takes two expect, seconds too, right? Well, it does, yeah. but you know, they're not good at it. So I have a script on there that teaches you how to do it and we teach you how to do it. But a lot of my clients still don't do it. So I said, okay, this ain't going to work because video is too powerful to ignore. Okay. You and I both know how powerful right. video is. Okay. So what I've done now is I have a whole class that I've taught, a whole training session on how to take those inspection photos that you're taking and turn those into a video. Okay, so you don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, behind the camera talking, no problem. Guess what? I'll show you how to take those photos and make videos that are very helpful to the consumer and the tools are free. They're right on your. They're right on your computer right now. Right. Okay. So um, my members are making some of the best videos that you have ever seen from photographs. With, with still pictures. Still, still pictures. Still pictures. You already took the photographs. Just get them out and use them. They're in your reports, right? <laughs> they're on your camera. Drop them on your desktop. Uh, and what I do is with mine, I, I um, categorize all my pictures like electrical issues, or foundation issues, or roof issues. So when I get ready to start talking about. When I build an expertise, I want you to really know I'm the expert. And so what I'll say things like this is, when you're out previewing a property, here's some things I want you to look for. And I start talking about, you know, this, some obvious things they can see from the ground. You know, if you've got a horizontal crack uh, in a concrete block foundation wall, that's a big problem. Um, and what you should probably do is start select, is select a different property. Okay, or if you see this, you know, if the uh, uh, shingles are as curly as Tammy Faye Baker's eyelashes, mm, you don't need a new roof. You know, <laughs> ask how old the furnace is. You know, and I show them an old furnace. You know, here's where, you know, you, you know, look on a seller's disclosure step. I get into all kinds of things. So when they go out there, I've educated them. Oh, Ken told me this. They ain't amused me yet. Right. But they, they're saying to each other, oh, I saw this on Ken's video. Here's the things we should be looking for. Right. And oh, by the way, you can put on a little slide at the end, you know, after you watch my video, if you want the free home inspection checklist, go to this URL. And that's the squeeze page where... Or they that's, the list, that's the list building page. That's what they give me now their first name and their email address right. to get the <clears throat> to get the uh, other checklist. I took them from YouTube, watching my video now into my list building system. And guess what happens if I don't get the inspection? Guess what? They still go in my prior clients, don't they? They're still getting the newsletter from me, aren't they? They're still getting the home inspection tip of the month. I'm staying in touch with them. Right. I'm cultivating them for a long term client. Right. These things work. These strategies work. Um, it does take some new thinking. Yeah. It's not, it's not face to face, you know, it's not face to face, but I will tell you too, Joe, and this is the thing, if you were trying to learn internet marketing on your own, I mean, you're just not going to be able to get this. You'll be able to get pieces of it, but you won't be able to connect the dots. Well, you'll be able to do it, but you won't be able to do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> you might be able to do it, but you won't be able to do anything else, and you won't be as effective at it, and that's one of the things. That's why Home Inspection Marketing Center, really, the, the, our, our members love this, because, you know, they're not going to go out and do all these strategies at one time, but they see the big picture. Yeah, and it's, and not, it, it's not marketing. Center, it's the Home Inspection Marketing Center. That's right. I mean, it's dedicated to home inspectors. That's right. It's exclusively home inspectors. Right. And it's really training. I say all the time is this. Home inspectors get technical training, right. but you know what happens because they came from the trades, they feel good about that, they feel comfortable about it, but they don't feel comfortable about marketing. But you know you got if, if you don't have a viable business if nobody calls you on the phone, right. I mean, you don't have one. So you got to look at marketing training. You got to look at, I got to get some new skill sets. Where am I going to get them? Here's a perfect place to get them. These guys are proven winners. You know, they can teach us what we need today yeah. to fill our schedule. Stop looking at marketing like it's scary or a four-letter word, you know. Sales is a good thing. I mean, how would it feel to wake up, uh, you know, at the end of the month and say, wow, we did 40 grand this month. And you know what? My expenses were 50%. I just put 20 of it in my pocket. It's great. I mean, you know what? You get you a new home. You great buy job. a car. You don't worry about the stupid recession. You know, don't participate in it. Right. Let me tell you, you and, you and I both know this. Home inspections are happening every day. Your clients are That's doing correct. That's Mine correct. are too. That's correct. My clients are crushing them. And so, you know what happens is, if you're not getting home inspections, you know what? It's my clients are getting them. Because they're right. engaged in effective marketing. Were they as skeptical about marketing in the beginning as everybody else? Sure they were. They were yes. But you know what they said? i got to get out of my comfort zone, get over here to the Home Inspection Marketing Center, and learn these skill sets. And they're happy they have. I mean, if you don't believe it, go to the website and look at the videos on the front. They'll tell you how happy they are. And that's how you go direct to the public, right? That's how you go direct to the public.